Hello, this is the new Toshiba Flash Air wireless LAN card and it's uh, out in a 8 gigabyte configuration, type 6 at the moment, I'm hoping for some type 10s in the future and in case you didn't know this is a direct competitor to iFi's product, I have one of these as well but um, what does this do that the uh, iFi doesn't do? Well, I think that it's a lot uh, simpler to do the setup out of the box. I didn't need a computer at all, and I was able to pair this card with my clever phone, um, make an ad hoc network, and then I was able to transfer the files directly from the browser, from Chrome, on my clever phone on my iPad, on my PC, just open up a browser and you're able to pull out pictures from this one wirelessly and not only is it pictures one limitation I found with the iFi is that it is very picture centric for this one anything will do I do 3D photography I have one of these uh, you know, 3D cameras point and shoot and it saves pictures in MPO 3D format and that one isn't recognized by my iFi as being a picture format so it ignores them completely you can't see them um, when you're trying to do the wireless transfer for this one you can pick out anything it could be a PDF file grab it using the browser pull it off the card if you had a digital musical keyboard or a drum machine somebody left a comment in my previous video you're able to pull your MIDI files or you know any type of computer file and what I've been reading is that there is a feature where you can upload files onto this card as well which I would find very useful can't do that with an iFi so if you had a, a digital picture frame with one of these cards in you'd be able to update it wirelessly with you know refresh all the images that you want to display there mm. if you have any more information on how to do that I would like to know and what application or how to configure this so that you can do uploads as well as downloads uh, drop a comment because this card hasn't been out for very long so there's not too much information out there but I do recommend it as um, an alternative to the iFi card and what else did I find oh, well, in my 3D camera the the iFi doesn't um, like it very much it draws too much power and more often than not when I stick the card in it doesn't recognize the iFi this one no problems uh, also there is a little image file in there which you, if you protect it switches off the Wi-Fi functionality I think that's how it works it's allowing you to save power even more because the Wi-Fi radio in there must consume some energy right so if you don't need it switch it off when you need it switch it on this another thing that I, I I couldn't quite figure out how to do on the iFi so yes if you haven't got a wireless uh, SD card yet it's definitely worth considering the flash air for enabling your old cameras or just anything with SD with Wi-Fi capabilities that they didn't have before up until now there hasn't been much competition for iFi and now Toshiba has a product to give them a run for their money